Hey guys, it's Paul. Um, I'm going to do a sort of, I have never done a video like this before, but this is a, a tutorial video, not tutorial, this is me learning Salesforce before I go into um, doing a tutorial beginner how to use um, Salesforce. So this is me learning it. I've, I have logged in before a long time ago and I want to do some videos on Salesforce. So if you're watching this, this is me this is me sort of looking around and seeing what's happening with it, what's the theory. So I'm just gonna dive straight in. Um, if you want a full full tutorial on how to use it specifically, there'll probably be a link in the information below. But I just thought I'd do a video of how I'm sort of evaluating what to do and how to learn it. And it, you know, it might be a little bit jumpy, it might a little be a bit um, all over the place as I'm, but I just wanted to see maybe my processor just learning how to use stuff. So first thing, I've obviously come to salesforce.com. A lot of information on there, a lot of you know customer service, marketing apps. This is the daddy of CRMs. This is why I wanted to do some videos on it because it is literally uh, currently the top dog and it can do all sorts and everything. So what I'm really interested in this series of videos is the CRM part. I'm not going into a lot of all this other stuff because it is, I mean, it's, it's everything you're ever gonna need looking at it. But I also know there's no free version. There's a free trial. So I know that if I come, I'd be looking at pricing. What's the pricing like? And then if I come here, there's obviously all sorts of feature of, uh, of, with each with each um, price. There's all sorts of different features. One list lists are easy to keep. So you got you know, I'd go through and I'd have a look and I'd be if I were you, I'd be saying, what do I really need out of all this? What am I? What am I going to need at the end? Do I need lead magnets? case management, customized reports, how many team members have I got? So out of the box CRM up to five users starting at $20, £20 per user. Um, and there is a little asterisk there, I don't know. All per user products require an annual contract, right. So you're gonna have to pay annually for it as well. Um, so is there a monthly version? Is there, a, is this a, you're gonna pay once and then have to pay, month, pay um, all in annually. I mean, that's a big deal, isn't it? If you've got five salesmen, um, you know, that's going to cost you 100 quid a month. You're going to have to pay 1200 quid right at the box. Uh, so you need to know that this is going to work for you or not. So I know I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to log in um, and see what sort of info it can use. Uh, sell smarter, cannot connect into. Microsoft Exchange or Office, why do we ask? When you connect your email to Sales IQ, we organize your emails and meetings by deal so you never have to log data again. Salesforce follows strict industry standard privacy practices. So it's gonna connect your um, your inbox to this. So what do I, because I, what I really want to do is do a video that I'm gonna be able to show you the whole thing. So if I sign up now, I may struggle later to sign up again on my um, tutorial account. So it's not gonna give me um, an option. Exchange email, exchange password. Start by connecting your email. So I'll do it, I'll do it by connecting my Google. And I, I may have had an account before, so it might not let me in. And I'll see what it says. So yeah, it says it's happy. It's gonna give me a 14 day trial. I'm gonna put a uh, password in. Try not to say it out loud, which I have done in previous videos. Uh, happy me, limited, phone number, 145, that's what you wanna call me, call me. I agree to terms, I would like to receive offers. No, thank you. And I'll sign up and see what it does, see what it says. Um, as I said, this is a, this is a, you know, this is me learning, this is me learning um, Salesforce. So if you're watching it and you're getting value, great. The communication sensor, you can edit blue boxes to learn more. Start learning everything in one place. It's automatic, powerful reporting. Um, track all your opportunities. Keep track of your pipeline. It's gonna obviously go through everything, inactive days. 
automatically update the latest information about your opportunities. Keep your team informed. <laughs> Finished importing contacts. So it's pulled all my contacts from Gmail. Actionable insights base, we automatically capture. So, you know, it's a lot of spiel, a lot of things it can do, you know. Set up your team's pipeline. Oh, I've just got a phone call I need to take. Sorry guys, yeah, so um, stay to show your opportunity. So basically this is your pipeline. So top of your funnel, uh, qualified negotiation, verbal commitment, uh, deal one. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, I'm happy with that to start with anyway. Um, start a user, you are ready to begin your own free trial for our business plan. Look at our guided walkthrough, get started. Welcome to your opportunities, which obviously here, all active mine. Click on the blue box, qualified. So this is where you give them a status. It's probably gonna click somewhere else in it. It's gonna tell me anything. Revenue. One thousand, avocado. Loading stream, so it's telling me everything that's going off. So basically, this is where I'm going to put my leads in. This is where I'm going to track anything. Can I not just? Oh, it's loading stream for that customer. So if there's anything else in there that your customers have used, or if your team have put something in, you could probably type in here new quote being built. I do security stuff, so I always put CCTV or whatever. So they see that. So anybody else could then comment and say. I've worked with them, they are cool. You know, anything like that. So you might say, has anybody else worked with this guy? Um, Add opportunity at the top. So I'm guessing it will pop out and to select it, select an account to associate. Okay, so there's no actual customers. So um, I'll just put it in. Oh, Joe Black Coffee Bar. So it's interesting, it will find stuff. So let's see if I can find something in Doncaster that's... Um, Doncaster. Oh, here we go. Let me go back here. So let's see if I can find anything near me. Doncaster. Doncaster BMW. Add a contact. John... See, these are, all, they, these are all contacts that are in my um, Gmail that it's pulled. So, sorry, John, I'm stuck in that for showing your email. John Smith. Create a new contact. John Smith. John at johnsmith.com. John Smith. Add. And that's going to put in the background here a... Negotiation, revenue, days in current state, I guess it'll do that, inactive. Last meeting, owner is me. Website, so it's obviously pulled that information. If you want to add a field, you can add stuff there. So, grid, stream, reports. So obviously there's all sorts of different reports. Pipeline reports. So I like Sam. This is not me giving you a tutorial. This is me poking around and understanding everything uh, that I need to know. So accounts in my contacts is probably all my. Um, well, that's interesting. That it doesn't just dump all your contacts in from Gmail. Uh, you can dump them in though. So there's obviously a V card and you, you can import a load of contacts. So what I like to do in the demo videos is import um, um, demo data. So I've got some spreadsheets with some fake people and fake emails and phone numbers. So I'll probably import them. So it does have Twitter, it does have pop out stuff. Does it? Oh, there you go. So it does open a box. Add to list, add to account, create a task. So if I've got a task to do, follow up today, follow up. 
successfully followed up creating a task settings so i'm guessing i can go in and change notifications secure your information billing account properties test number blah, blah, blah. contact properties integration so salesforce is one of the things that can do all sorts and everything and um you probably i would be wouldn't be surprised if you signed up for a certain thing that they would they would have an onboarding session they would have people who provide you training to make sure that you're doing it right not necessarily doing it the way i do it send mass emails so you can do you can do your newsletter stuff from here uh you can obviously add a signature to your emails compose an email so i can write an email directly to i guess john smith john smith i hope the test hello There probably is somebody out there with a, a, a John at johnsmith.com in there. Um, so you can send emails directly, so that's cool. Um, so what am I going to look at? Reporting wise, I'm not doing a whole lot. What's the homepage look like? Uh, how do I get rid of this? Click on there. Accounts. So mobile and Gmail apps. Mobile email, Salesforce, iPhone, blah, blah, blah. Have they just emailed me? I'm surprised they haven't, actually. Um, send Android links, send phones. There's obviously an app for your phone. I can, I'm not really going into that too much. My feed, also. Obviously, nothing's happening in here. Learn more about our three plans, we know. $25 a month to start a plan, users five. All right, so is that, I don't understand if that's five users you get or if it's per user, is it gonna be $125? Add users Salesforce to increase club. It feels to me like it would be $25 a month for five users. But I'm not sure. I mean, no, I think what they're saying is you get one user, but you can only max it out at five, and then you have to move to this one. List one, automatic data capture, shared address book, and rich content profiles, suggested follow-ups. So, at the moment, I know Salesforce is apparently the nuts, or it has been the nuts. It's not blowing me away with what I'm seeing from this basic trail. Um, you know, it's not as intuitive as I would have thought it should be. We've created a template. It's very, it's very blank and bland, isn't it? It's very, you know, if you go to Zoho or something, there's a lot of information right out in the box of the trail. Whereas this seems to be, you know, contacts and deals, which I guess that's all a CRM needs to be. But what I would worry about is you're going to sign up for $25 a month per user and have to pay annually and it'd be very very basic of what's up here i mean i know it's it's one of those fully customizable um programs where you can keep adding stuff but every time you add something is it going to cost you money you know um i'm thinking like if i create a tutorial for this is anybody going to watch this bit because they need to know the nuts version of it you know the um the real deal Whereas this seems very blank, it seems, um, it doesn't seem to be offering too much in the way of, I keep clicking on stuff, see, I'm, you know, I'm used to poking around and going, oh cool, that's there, is it, that's there. So the, 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 the very basic plan is track your deals, track your, um, oh, I want to delete it. Um, track your, your pipeline but it doesn't it's not jumping out as doing a lot of other stuff it's not a list of products or a um, you know standard negotiate opportunity add a field set up convert filter by <clears throat> so how do I open this there I go Negotiate Doncaster B to BMW, 
There's the tasks. There's the filter stream to me. So I can filter it down to just show me stuff that I need to see. Um, I guess there's some features in the back end of this that makes it worth it, whether it links to your accounting program, whether you can get an app to, to, you know, to sign up that if you are using QuickBooks or Great Plains or something that it, it syncs with it and it pulls that information. So I'm sort of, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the trial version and I'm, you know, revenue, click to edit, last meeting, days in current status. Some people like it that it's just basic though. Some people like that um, I'm just going to click on it and it's going to drop me in. All contacts are now associated with their accounts. You quickly visualize your contacts early. I mean, it is what it is. If that's, you can merge it with another contact if you want. Um, so I'm going to have to have a play around. I'm going to have to really get, you know, as you can see, with other stuff, it's easier because I've used it. You know, I've, I've used Zoho CRM. So when I do the when I do the videos on that, I've already um, I've already been in and around it. Security notifications, organization settings. You would think here you could change it to pounds. So at the moment, I don't want it in dollars. Um, start export, remove organization, create it. Administration controls, lists, opportunities, users, teams, billing. Massive. So it seems to me that you would need to be paying $75 a month to get a, a Salesforce system in place. If that's what this comes with, then, because this is this direct integration is is probably integrating with your accounts program, with your mail server maybe, that's what it looks like this is doing already, but all previous, advanced. So if you're selling a lot of stuff, then you probably might look at this 125 a month. I don't know, to me, these figures for what it's doing don't add up in totally. But for you, you might be looking at this saying, we've got to use it, we're, we're gonna use it and, um, the money isn't is irrelevant we just need to know how to use it so i'm looking at it i'm not integration so you can sync it to your mailchimp which i'll probably do in the video because i've got a mailchimp account uh zapier custom hubspot um salesforce desk. so isn't it, again and there isn't a hundred different integrations obviously with um the zapier or zapier that can um that can open up a lot of customization to other stuff so download the app at exchange there's all sorts of things it can do but it's not right out of the box gonna blow me away when i do a when i do a free trial version demo video um it's not there's not a whole lot there to show is there i'm guessing the um the bigger versions are, are where it's at and maybe i have to do maybe i'll have to sign up as um, and, and show the the $125 a month version in this. So it's all interesting, but I just want to show you how I start to look at things. What am I going to do? I'm going to poke around in here for a bit, and then I'll drop out and reset it and start again. I'll, I'll go through, um, I'll go to the contacts, and I'll get my, um, I'll add contacts, I'll bulk, I'll mass uh, import contacts. I'll work out how to do it. Again, it's not jumping out saying import your contacts. Oh, there it is. Look, <laughs> import your contacts. You know, so it wants the VCF or VC card files. So I'm going to have to work out how to get my data into that format. In upload a load of information and then look to add a load of leads and then see what happens. Like what happens when this is closed and won? Um, so if I go status, close date, qualify, right? If I go deal one, successful update, what happens to it, right? So I come off it, 
I don't know, does it drop out? Does it, is it gone? Where's it gone? So I'm gonna have to work all these things out for the, um, for the version, so deal one. So then you would probably filter it to not show that sort of stuff. So again, I'll filters up here, look. So I would probably say, um, inactive, close date, status, um, no point showing me deals one because they're one, active, inactive, you know, and save it, save filter, open ops. So that should go up there, look, yeah. So filter, oh, clear all. Filters, custom filter, open ops is there. So that's where you save the filter. So things like that I'll look at and I'll try and work out where I see the benefit of this sales force as to what I think people should use it for um, to justify the money and the annual pricing. You know, it's not a month to month, it's a real deal, all in um, thing. So anyway, that's a, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do many videos like this because it's just me poking around and introducing myself to um, that product before I do a training video on how to use it. So um, leave a comment if you're still here, let me know what you think, let me know any questions you've got. Um, if you've got any questions on Salesforce, if you can ask me them before I do the video, the tutorial video, I will in, I will make sure it's in that tutorial video, the questions that you've had uh, about setting it up. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe would be awesome. Have a great week. See you soon.